Hey baby dolls, it's me Monique and welcome to my boutique. So today's video is all about comparing and contrasting. So yes, without further ado ladies, this video, I'm going to be showing you some Bath and Body Works items, but then I'm also going to be showing you some items that are very similar to Bath and Body Works, but at a fraction of the price. <laughs> so anyway, Without further ado, let's get into this. But what do we do before we always start videos? We get ourselves a nice cocktail drink. And this is just a water. Okay. Look at those beautiful ice cubes mixed in there. So, yeah, this is um, coconut water with, I think, pineapple. Zero calories at Walmart. It has a little bit of fizz. Divine on a dime, girl. Sip, sip. This is amazing. I love it. And I got this cute little uh, tumbler thingy from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So, again, what I want to do is show you some Bath and Body Works items that I recently purchased or that I got maybe a while ago that I'm just now using. And then I also want to show you some items that are comparable to Bath and Body Works. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start out with Bath and Body Works, and then I'm going to show you a product that I love just as much, okay? So the first thing I want to show you is this Japanese, uh, no, it's Tokyo Lotus and Apple Blossom. I got this at the semi-annual sale last summer, last June, $3 each. Amazing, amazing product. I got two sets of these, and so this is the second one that I'm working on. Uh, this smells amazing. If you love the Japanese Lotus Blossom, this is very similar. It's just got a hint of apple in it and a, kind of like a little um, sweeter to me. It's like a little sweeter scent. So anyway, this is amazing. The lotion, which is actually a triple moisture, is amazing as well. And then the body spray is amazing. So yeah, love those. These are actually probably my favorite. But I don't know if it's just me or not. Um... After a while, everything with Bath & Body Works starts to smell the same, right? I don't know. Whatever. Um, but in contrast, I got this Tone body wash. And ladies and gentlemen, this body wash is everything. I got it at Walmart for like $5. This is the Mango... A mango splash body wash it's very moisturizing it's got some cocoa butter infused with it the consistency of this is very thick there's really nothing more in here to really show you but oh gosh this to me is bath and body works up and down or even better to me uh, because it's moisturizing you don't really even have to put a whole lot of lotion on your body after you use this this is really good. Uh, this is 32 fluid ounces. And to get this much product in comparison to this, yeah. Because this retails for $11, okay? So you do the math. Uh, 10 fluid ounces, 32 fluid ounces, $11, $5. Yeah. And again, this is comparable, if not better, okay? I love this stuff. I'm going to go back and get a couple more because my husband loves it too. A little bit too much. Um, also, I bought a whole lot of hand washes last uh, last summer and then also this past Christmas time. They had the, uh, a nice little Christmas sale with the hand soaps. They're okay, but they're really nothing spectacular to me. I mean, I have the foaming hand washes and then I just have the regular... Um, liquid hand washes to me they're just nothing to write home about i mean i just put one on i just used one just to wash my hands and i mean it's no big deal um i would rather spend my money on something other other than that and so i think that these right here are very comparable to the hand washes from bath and body works this is the dial this is the miracle oil and it's got something infused in there some kind of um moroccan oil or something this is the one with the blue kind of lotus flower. It smells so good. It's got like a, a nice uh, kind of like a honey, honey or a honey suckle smell to this. Uh, 97 cents. Very comparable. I mean, yeah, very comparable. 
Also, this coconut water from Dial smells just as good as Bath & Body Works, ladies. And take it from me. I would know because I've been there and done that. Um, this one here, this is the Seasonal Collection Tropical uh, Fruit Splash. This is everything. Smells like pineapple and fruit and mango. Uh, and 90-something cents. Oh, gosh. This one. Yes. Bring this one up closer. Amazing. And then last but not least is this one. This is the seasonal collection as well. This is Tropical Blend Girl. You cannot ever go wrong with the Dial Tropical Blend. It is everything. It will take you directly to the islands when you put this on your hands. Yes, it will. Mm. <laughs> I love it. All right. And then also staying in line with the body stuff, I wanted to show you that if you go to your local Big Lots, they have beautiful little gift sets. And a lot of times they have them on clearance. I found this one. For $2, and this is going to be perfect for a teenager. I love this one in particular because it says Pretty Promise on here. And y'all know me with my pretty is, pretty does. And so I'm going to give this to one of my nieces. And it's got a body wash, a body fruit splash, some little body butters, and a little loofah thingy. And it's already pre-packaged. It looks so beautiful. So for $2, I just had to get it. All right. And then also, staying in line with the Bath & Body Works theme uh, at a fraction of the price, also check out Big Lots. They have this set called Sensual Glow. This is the Raspberry and Wild Rose. I gave several of these sets away for Mother's Day, and they, went, they were a hit. Okay, this is from their Bath & body collection so you know that they imitate emulated bath and body works and they really did a wonderful job with the packaging look at that beautiful rose with the gold filigree detail i love the little peekaboo window the packaging is so cute and posh i like that one and this would have to be my favorite though look at this one with the coral pink and gold again with this beautiful emblem here that lets us know what the product is I'm going to take this one out because I'm keeping this one for myself, I think. Probably not. I mean, I'm already using this uh, Blossom Lotus, whatever it is called. Um, this one is called Floral Temptation. And so you've got the spray and you've got the lotion. I will go ahead and spray it because I already know it smells so good. It smells like sweet pea. That's what this one smells like. Uh, Bath and Body Works sweet pea. Look at the packaging. It's a very beautiful, strong smell. I wish you could smell it, ladies. You would love it. All right. Now, let's get into the candles. Let's go ahead and fix our dress and our hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This water came from Walmart. It comes in cans. You get 12 cans for like $3. It's the coconut pineapple flavored water, zero calories. Try it out. Let me know how you like it. I love it. Mm. All right. Bath and Body Works candles is my thing. Okay. Um, but I also have to say that I always look for good quality candles not only does Bath & Body Works have good candles, other companies have good candles, and I'm going to share those with you. Um, when I look for good candles, uh, I look for quality in the scent. I don't want things to smell waxy. Um, I don't want things to smell Im like an imitation scent. It's got to have some kind of quality. Always look for the soy candles. Those, a lot of times have very good fragrance to them. They normally burn really well. They normally have a beautiful wax pool. Uh, the throw, meaning the smell, it will uh, really let the room smell very, very lovely. So the soy candles are something that you should always look out for. Um, and I'm gonna share those candles with you. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and start out with Bath & Body Works. And then we're going to transition into something that is comparable to a Bath & Body Works, okay? All right, so the first candle I want to show you is the Georgia Peach. 
And this is from the uh, White Barn Collection. All right. And me being a transported Georgia peach, I had to get them. I went ahead and got it. This is what the top looks like. I can already smell the peach. Oh, God, it smells so good. It is a beautiful, rich, rich, rich and rugged peach smell. Not imitation, but rugged. <laughs> it smells good, girl. This is what it looks like, the three wick. And so I went ahead and purchased two of these candles because I really, really think that these are going to go so well for the summer. So I went ahead and got those two. And then I also got this one for my husband. This one is called Bow Ties and Bourbon. Love the cute little packaging here. And again, the notes and the description is on the back, very bottom portion of the candle. But this smells so masculine. It smells like some beautiful cologne. Check out my video uh, where I show you some of my husband's colognes that I recently purchased for him. And this smells, oh, <laughs> so good. Yes, it does, girl. <laughs> All right. And then also, I got this candle here. This one is the pre, uh, pr Praline Pecan Cobbler. Praline Pecan Cobbler. Say that like four times, if you will. I don't know. Well, maybe it's just late at night and I, you know, I need to go to bed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is this candle here. And isn't the packaging so cutesy cute? Ah. And honey, when you smell this candle, that's what you will do. You're going to be like, Whew. oh, God, I wish you could smell this candle. Oh, it smells so good. These candles are really, really dangerous if you're trying to lose weight. Okay, because you burn this candle, then your taste buds start getting a little, you know, like, hmm, what can I get? A little cookie, a little piece of cake, a pie, yeah. Yeah, be careful with these candles, girl. But nonetheless, that is what this one looks like. All right, so we got all four of those. All right, also, those are all of the Bath and Body Works candles that I wanna share with you. Then I wanna share these candles. Now these candles I cannot vouch for in reference to, you know, are they really, really that good? All I can say that is on cold sniff, meaning when I initially smell the candle, it smells good. These come from Walmart. They're the mainstay candles. They're 90 something cents and it smells good. This one's called Garden Rain. It doesn't really have a waxy wax smell. It smells like a legitimate candle, but I don't know if it's going to be legitimate or not. I will let you know though, once I do burn these, but it smells good. It smells good enough. Like this is small enough to put in like a little half a bath and be okay with that. This one is called Fresh Cotton. Okay, and this smells, this one probably is my favorite out of these, I believe. Well, it's just, it smells good. All right, this one is called Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea smells very good. It smells legit. We shall see. And then this last one is called Peach and Mango, because we know that I love peaches and mangoes. And so it does not smell similar to the Bath and Body Works candle, but <clears throat> this one has a lighter smell to it, but it's a little similar, if that makes any sense. This is stronger, this is lighter, and it has a legitimate smell to it, meaning it does smell like peaches. It really does, okay? But we'll see once we burn it. And then I also got these candles here uh, from the Dollar Tree. This is called Angel Orchid. And this smells so good. And I basically got these to put in the boutique. And it smells really good. That's all I can really say. I've never really tried these. These are not the candles that I wanted to compare to Bath & Body Works. So this is basically just a part of my little haul. So I got four of these candles and I will let you know definitely if they work or not all right what i wanted to do was to show you these candles right here that i feel are comparable to bath and body works and the packaging is going to be very reminiscent to bath and body works uh, but most importantly the smell 
of these candles smell legitimate on cold sniff, but I've not burned them yet, so I can't really, really say that they are dupes, okay? But to my nose, they smell very similar. So this one is called Lemongrass and Verbena. These candles came from Big Lots and they were $6.50. The packaging is oh so posh and very, very, very similar to the Bath and Body Works candles. All right, now, it smells so good. It smells rich, it smells consistent, it smells real. Let's see, does it say anything on the back? Not that I really see. It's just from their tropical collection is what it says here, okay? But it smells very, very, very good. I hope that they, they burn just as good as they smell. Okay, this one is called Guava Mango. Look at that beautiful packaging. Okay. And I did do a uh, video showing you these candles and what they look like on display in Big Lots. So check that video out. But again, this is a beautiful, rich, rich mango smell. Not a peach smell, but a mango smell. And look at that beautiful, rich color. Just almost, well, no, mangoes aren't orange like this. They're more of a kind of like a reddish hue. But nonetheless, that is what the color is. I love that they have the three wicks. I cannot wait to see how these burn. Oh, but it smells so good. Okay, so I got that one. And then last but not least is the indigo wood. Now this, I believe, they are trying to dupe the, what is it, the mahogany teak wood at Bath & Body Works, and I think that they come really, really close. Oh, yes, this is more of a masculine smell. Very dominant, very aggressive, very, ugh. I love it. <laughs> okay, like that, her. It's, it's, it kind of, you know, it, it's a, it's a, amazing lovely smell what else can i say okay so here's this and this is what this looks like and isn't the packaging just so cute i love it very very nice okay i have got five more candles to show you but i also wanted to go ahead and show you uh these little wax melts that they're scented wax melts and i got these at uh, Walmart for 25 cents because they were at the after Christmas sale and these are my favorite wax melts of all time This one right here the warm crackling campfire. This is a sultry woodsy mm, Romantic Wax melt so I went ahead and got three of these and at a quarter a piece You just cannot beat that because they are normally 20. They're normally two bucks each so I got those three, and then I got this one is the Apple Pumpkin. It smells so good. Perfect for the fall. So I went ahead and got those. Okay, last but not least are these candles that I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. These candles are everything. They're from this company called lab and lab stands for something and i will get that information to you i had showcased this candle to you uh last week and i said that i was going to put it out on my patio outside i actually burned it in the kitchen first because i love the smell and i love the smell this candle is vanilla and sea salt honey i got this for five dollars it smells immaculate the burn it burns so lovely if you all see these candles here by this company called Lab. Check it out, okay? These are soy candles. They actually have a Facebook page if you wanna check them out. Very, very, very comparable to Bath & Body Works in my opinion. They are quality candles. They will scent up your whole house, especially this one thus far. Love it. So I got this one that was normally like 11 something. I got this for $5 on clearance. In addition, I got this other candle. Now this candle has blown me away. It does not have the lid, but I noticed online that the brown lid went with it. Okay, that's okay. This candle was $5 at Marshall's, originally $9.99. This candle right here, it's called Patchouli Rose, is everything. It is 
smelling up this entire boutique. It is a soy candle. The, the smell of this candle is dominating everything, even the Bath and Body Works candles. And if I had a Yankee candle in here right now, I'm sure that this smell would go over all of this. So that lets me know that this is an amazing candle. And I am going to be looking for more candles from this company right here, Lab. And if I were you, I would do the same thing. Try one and you will see what I'm talking about. Um, I love the packaging. It's very retro very unique. Uh, I believe that they're, they're really a trailblazer. They're ahead of their time in reference to quality. Uh, they are a good candle. So this one again is called Patchouli Rose. It smells like patchouli and rose. Yeah. The two normally would not really, you would not think that it would go together. Oh, but it works, girl. It's going to take your breath away, though, which is a good thing, you know. So you can burn this one candle, and it's going to smell your whole house like patchouli and rose. You will be in hippieville heaven, okay? All right, so I got that one for $5. And then also I got this candle here. It smells like grape, and I got it for $6. And I think it was originally like, it says 16, but I don't think it was really that much. I love the packaging of it. It's beautiful. It's great. And it just smells like uh, grape. Grape lip gloss. Mm. It Oh, it smells like grape lip gloss. And it just smells like a lovely like hint of wood. Oh, this candle right here. Look for it, girl. Look for this one right here. This would be beautiful. Like if you were having like um, a little wine tasting over at your home and you're having your friends over to sample some wines, have this one, this candle going at the same time, honey. With some beautiful appetizers, hors d'oeuvres. Oh my gosh, girl. This would be an absolute hit. So yeah, I think I'm going to save this one for that. Okay, last but not least are my husband's least favorite but i was like baby i i'm a connoisseur i kind of i'm like a trailblazer i like to do things off the beaten path and that is with everything that i do okay and he was like okay whatever get the candles monique i know you're gonna do it which i did thank you baby all right so these candles again is by this company called lab and this one is called cayenne berry this candle smells like peppers and berries married one another it smells very weird oh i love it it smells like pe like pepper like <coughs> cayenne pepper and berry mixed together it just smells so unique this was normally 10 bucks or six or seven bucks i got it on clearance for three dollars i'm happy i love the packaging it's so retro it is so me i'm gonna keep these little containers once the candle is done but I just thought that this was just so unique and the smell is out of this world. I love it. I really do. And they have like four other ones that I need to collect. Uh, but I also purchased this one too. It's called Tabasco Butter or no Tabasco Pepper Hot and Fragrant Candle. Okay, this one, she sold it to me for $4.50. That was okay. This is what the lid looks like. And I love it. It just smells like... It smells like pepper and perfume.